And there we go, we're into the world. So how are we doing guys? Welcome. It's Kraken here and we're into the brand new series of Fists Only. Chosen by you guys. And boy, what a challenge this is going to be because it looks like we've started right next door. Some wasteland. We do have a trader there, which is very strange to see. But is that in a wasteland biome? check the old map yeah straight we got a trader right next to us but straight in a wasteland biome oh that's going to be interesting that's going to be interesting all right let's stuff uh, get a few things sorted here shall we we have to go through our basic basic things straight away so as always start off with our fists and just do the beginning quests but yeah i'm struggling to punch grass so how am i gonna how am i ever gonna survive trying to um trying to kill some zombies there we go let's get ourselves started the bedroll first gather ourselves some small stones right well let's see what we can um what we can find here so normally my advice to people is if you um start off in the in the wasteland biome or close to it is to um to restart but um i don't know let's try the let's try the challenge let's get ourselves some clothes on craft these up quickly I grab myself some snowberries, so I'm going to eat them. Wear them and wear them. Right, wooden club. The one thing we cannot use. So, we've made it, and straight out the window it goes. What is next? Bow and arrow next? One bonus about being next to the wasteland biome is it'll be very easy to get stones. There we go, we've got one anyway. Bow and arrow. Not need the feathers. There we go, there's our bow and arrow, and straight out the window with that as well. Now, are we going to risk? There we go, we've got our four skill points. Are we going to risk going down to this trader? Because that's blatantly the one it's going to send me to because it's the closest. Get rid of this sand. Have a quick look at our points. So, fortitude. This is what it's all going to be about. So, healing factor we're definitely going to need. Pain tolerance, we're definitely going to need. Brawler, what does a brawler actually do to us? Um, zombies can't bite you if they don't have any teeth. Craft two or knuckled weapons and deal 10% more damage with fists. Punch into the head and it gets... Right, so we can't get infected if we knock their teeth out is basically what it's saying. So let's put a point into that it makes our fists slightly stronger now do we go rule one cardio or put another point into fortitude what is that 10 percent chance to dismember with fists do 210 percent headshot damage as well or rule one cardio but let's try this try this first um yeah
What have we got going here? Okay, rocket launcher schematic. I'll probably sell that because I have can't use rocket launcher. Destroyed at forge. We're working cement mixer and a working workbench. And that's that's good to know. Right. Let's go and say hello to Mr. Trader. I got just the thing for what's ailing you. It's very dark in here. Do you have any jobs? Might just well be in the green biome, so we'll take that. No matter what, I'm grateful for everything you've done. Weighted head. Now we can. I, I want to read that because you can put the the weighted head onto your fists. So, right, we're going to sell you that though. 160 dukes, and we'll sell you. The brass, we'll throw that one out. Right, okay. So we've got ourselves a little bit of money. Now. So that is all the way over there. Okay, we're going to have to just ignore that for the second. We're going to have to go head towards, head back to the green biome. If we can help you, it'd be nice not to have to use our first aid bandage straight away. Okay, here we go. Get ourselves plenty of cotton. Guys, I'm actually slightly nervous about playing this series. I've never really used this at all. Everything has been set to default apart from the day length has been put to 90 days. We need some lever as soon as we can. Bandage. Favorite and craft. There we go. We go. There we go. Boat line, bug fly, sting like a bee. Oh god, we are weak. And we are weak. Well, we could do with a wrench taking that apart. I can't believe how many hits that took. Okay, we don't need that, we don't need that. We did get an engine. We can sell the engine. Need be. Oh, I see a bookshelf. Whoa! Why are we getting two hard zombies straight away? Come on, game, what are you doing to me? Let's go. Get our jab jab crossing. Oh, come on. Here, another one. 
Ooh, you gotta give me some clothes. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Okay, well, we don't want the skirt. We'll wear that. Oh shit, there's two of them. You can, see, you can tell I'm panicking. I accidentally throw my torch up against the wall. Right, come on guys, you can come out. Oops. Must have the world's shortest arms. Whew. Right. Well, you ain't going anywhere, are you? Come on. Luckily, for a big fat guy, you got nice short arms. I imagine hitting you is like trying to hit a cow. Come on. All I need is some leather. Yes, down you go. <laughs> oh my god, come on Jarvis, let's sort you out. And a loot bag, oh okay. Okay, some forged iron, uh, where was I? Okay, we've got a cooking pot. It's not so bad. Nice and early. Got ourselves some food. Okay, we're doing alright for food. Right, now. Get my chairs. Is that leather? Yes, it is, but it was only one lever. Okay, bookcase. Heal and thread. Okay. Right, we've got a single storage mod to get us started. Heal and thread. Lever dusters. Okay, well, we need the lever. Uh, maintain your bow. We're going to read it, but we don't need it. Right, take that off. We're going to wear that. Right, I believe this is leather. Leather knuckles. Oh, we can craft them. Level two. Okay. Does it tell me? Right, melee damage six. Power attack 13. Okay. I don't know what our fists were on their own. Let's carry on having a little look through this POI as we've already taken quite a few of the zombies out. I say that and there's one right there. Okay, sneak attacking does not work on a zombie. Fatality! Oof. Oh, yes. Oh, cracker. No one, you're in the money as well. Oh, this is good. Those you can be quite powerful with these. Okay. Uh, let's try and not be over encumbered. Ammo. Now. I did have a little think about this. The ammo we're going to collect, even though we can't use it. Oh, I've got another bookshelf. Hello. Oh, you were a tough one, didn't you? You must have gone to a tough school. Well, hello. Haha. -ha. We 
people coming back to me. I've got the eye of the tiger. Crazy Jake. Well, we've just killed one of the tourists, so we'll read that. Trigger mod. Again, no use for it whatsoever. We'll sell that straight back to the trader. Office chair. We can scrap that straight for leather. No, we'll use the Gravedigger mod. About that. Right. We need to get ourselves set up somewhere. Typical. Like the third toilet pistol I found in the whole game and we find it in a um, playthrough that we can't actually use it. Oh, now that's a really nice find. Found ourselves a fire axe. That's going to really help us. Aloe vera seed. I kind of want that, you know. Um... We really need to find ourselves a home. We've got some nice interesting buildings around here. Oh, is that a laundrette? Right, let's deal with you. We need to find ourselves somewhere that we can stay for the minute. Make sure we hit you in the face, knock your teeth out. Come on. Now, is my sexy Saurus? I put points into that. Is that going to help me carry on punching? Or is that just melee weapons? Oh, hello. Oh, we've, we've annoyed you. Oh, there we go. We've upset you. So, yeah, does my strength... Um, Sexy Saurus. Reduces melee and tool stamina use by 5% and power attacks by 10%. Does that work for fists? Hmm. Okay, it looks like we've got a laundrette here. I'm thinking of... Yeah, we have. Right, perfect. That's a good start. I don't think there's a ladder around the back. Actually, we'll just double check. No, there is, and it's down to the ground, so we're going to have to... Um, we're going to have to knock clear that out. Anybody up here? No, but I think we've woken somebody up downstairs. Right. Make ourselves a chest. Raft. Here we go. Now we will keep the stones on us. Right, here we go. Hey, stripper. We have to make sure that we're hitting direct in the head. Now, it does scare me when they start getting enraged. We need to knock off the bottom two rungs of this ladder. Oh, here we go. Jolty head. Unfortunately, I don't really know anything about boxing. Oh, well, we got Edgar. But this will hopefully get our um, wardrobe sorted. If we can find ourselves a football helmet or something like that. And I have a spare point. I'm going to be looking at Lucky Looter as well at some point. 
There we go. Knock you down. Obviously, we will find ourselves some iron knuckles. Now, my stamina is not doing too bad, actually. Feels like it should be going way down because I'm used to using a club. He still doesn't actually use as much stamina as using a club. I'm going to lay off on the sexy saurus until. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Until anybody can confirm with me whether it's actually going to be useful or not. Come on. There you come. One at a time. Let's make this a fair fight. Gonna be affecting me. You've got no teeth left, boy. It's nice having this much of you, to be honest. Beautiful, right? Oh, hello. Is there anybody left in here? Rather, it was cleared out before we started. Going through it all. I think that's everybody now. Get our chairs. Get our free wood. There's somebody. But who's... Who's beating on what? Somebody outside? Right. Let's start from this end. Okay, we've got bandana. Sounds very close. I think they're outside. Beautiful. Straight away. There we go. You wear bandana with that as well? And we've got ourselves some footwear. Knew this was a great idea. And we've got some perception goggles there. Uh, that could help us with our lucky looter straight away. Plus one in perception. Now the one thing I am a little bit concerned about is how much damage we've done to our wraps already. We need loads of those needle and threads. And how much cloth we're going to be sorted for bandages. Running shoes. To think about that. Might end up changing my shoes over. But we are going to be putting on plus five. They're terrible. Put on the lucky looter goggles though. Now. If we can get ourselves any armour. Keep my eyes in this direction. looking for armor as soon as we can that bdu top so we've got the full B bdu setup right the last last little bit now knocking those steps out could take a little while we have got a vending machine here that works as well I'm very tempted to build my own POI though in this. Build my own base from scratch, but we're gonna have to make sure we're um we're set up first. I think being encumbered is gonna be it's gonna be a real issue in this playthrough. Normally I get to the point where I can't even normally walk, but um I don't think we're gonna be able to get away with that this time. We need to be light on our toes. Practice our skipping rope skills. Right, one last sink. Oh, check a potato. Okay. Right, 
Whoa. <laughs> Sit down, boy. Why would, why would a laundrette have a drive through? Is that, is that an American thing? Let our bed roll down. Loads and loads of cloth. 98 cloth. We've got a load of clothes here that we can scrap out as well. Right. Right, here we go. Keep an eye on that stamina bar. Those power attacks. How the hell am I going to hit a crawler? Be interesting. Right, so is you. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Right, where well, is gonna? It is getting later in the day. So let's get these two rungs knocked out. Beautiful. Right, now there's one other little Muppet in here. I want to kill as my last thing of the day. Not going to push our luck too much. But he's normally in the back and no doubt he'll come alive over night time. Oh Christ, there's two of them. Come on, bring your teeth to me. I'm the teeth. Teeth collector? I'm the tooth collector. Come on, Nigel. See, so you keep punching the tail and I'll punch you. Multiplying. Nigel's everywhere. Come on. Beautiful. Ah. Oh. And with that, another skill point. Oh, a schematic for a motorbike handlebar, was that? Oh, motorcycle handlebars. We have no lockpicks. So I'm not going to sit there all night and try and beat into that safe. That is not going to happen. Right then, guys. Pass some gas over there. That'll be worth checking out. See if we can get ourselves some wheels. That's where I'm going to leave this one. Not a bad little start. It was, um, it was scaring me starting this, actually. But we're there. Get the lever, because I think we're going to have to repair these. Look, they're, they're getting very low already. Keep the stones for repairing the axe. Bit of wood. Make some frames. Literally, we don't need to carry anything on us. In fact, I'll keep the lever on me. Just to repair these. And we've got one last point. Do we go into Lucky Looter? We've got the Lucky Looter goggles on. So, they're only level 5, plus 5. So, they're not great. Ruler, you need to be level 3. Healing factor, probably level 3. Pain tolerance, level 3. And do we do that rule 1 cardio? We seem to be okay at the moment. So, 
let's just go heavily into the fortitude tree we don't need anything else at the moment we know where there's a working workbench at the trader um it's easy to make a forge one point and that'll make us a forge but um there we go guys so big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it and honestly tell me in the comments down below who thought i was gonna die on the first day I'll put my hand up because i definitely thought it was going to happen so yeah any comments down below guys and i'll catch you guys in the next episode take it easy